Sometimes we have to take measurements that are extremely large, like on the scale of the universe. And sometimes we have to take measurements that are very small, such as at the microscopic level. What we are going to do is we are going to review the procedure for changing a very big number or a very small number into scientific notation. We're going to start with an extremely large number. This number is the age of the universe, which is thought to be about 14 billion years old. The first thing we want to keep in mind when doing scientific notation is where the decimal is. In the number 14 billion, there is no decimal, and if there is no decimal, you have to write one at the very end of the number. By doing this, it does not change the value of our number. It still means 14 billion. The next step in this procedure is we have to move the decimal all the way to a position so that the number in the very front of our decimal is a single digit whole number, such as the number one or the number two. We have to move it all the way to the left until it is in between the digits one and four. So now we have the number 1.4 with a whole bunch of zeros at the end. All the zeros that we have remaining are unnecessary. If we truncate these zeros or get rid of them, you will notice that it does not change the value of our number. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Anytime when you have some unnecessary zeros, just get rid of them. In math, we call this truncating the zeros. Now that we have truncated the zeros, the next step in scientific notation is simply to write times 10 after the remaining number. So in this case, it is 1.4 times 10 because scientific notation works on a base 10 system. The next step to this procedure is right by the number 10, we have to write an exponent. Now because we had an extremely large number, our exponent is going to be positive. If the number we started out with was less than one whole, and it was a very small number, like five thousandths or 12 millionths or something to that order, then our exponent would have been a negative exponent. Well, what is the exponent going to be? Well, that exponent is just noted by how many times you moved your decimal. In this situation, we moved our decimal 10 places to the left, which means our exponent is going to be to the 10th power. So in the end, we have an expression which reads 1 and 4 tenths times 10 to the 10th power. So what we did is we expressed the age of the universe in scientific notation. Now let's take a number that's extremely small and express that value using scientific notation. The diameter of a red blood cell is about six ten thousandths of a centimeter, which is an extremely small number. What we're going to do is take this number and express that in scientific notation. So first we start with the value 0 0.0006 centimeters. Note that the six is in the ten thousandths place that's why we would say that this is six ten thousandths of a centimeter. Now the next thing we have to do is the same step as we did with the larger number. Just move the decimal so that it is in a position where the number directly before the decimal is a single digit and a whole number. Now in this case if we take the decimal and move it to the left that would not make sense because there will never be a digit in front of the decimal which is a whole number. So in this case, we have to move the decimal to the right. And we have to move it all the way behind the six. If we move the decimal after the six, the number in front of the decimal is a single digit and a whole number, in this case, the number six. Now that we have our single digit and our whole number, we drop all unnecessary zeros. We do not need any of the zeros in front of the six, so we get rid of them. Then we always write times 10, and then our exponent. In this case, we move the decimal four places to the right. Because we started with an extremely small number, we must have a negative exponent. In math, a negative exponent simply means our value is a fraction or a value less than one. So we must write to the negative fourth power because we moved our decimal four places to the right. And now we have expressed the diameter of a red blood cell using scientific notation. 6.0 times 10 to the negative fourth power. Let's review the procedure for changing a small number and a large number into scientific notation. 
we know that our decimal always has to be moved into a position so that the number directly in front of the decimal or to the left of the decimal is a single digit as well as a whole number. When it's a small number we're starting with, we have to move our decimal to the right. And when it's a large number we're working with, if there is no decimal, add one to the end and then move it all the way to the left until we have a single digit, which is a whole number, directly to the left of the decimal. After this, we always truncate or delete all unnecessary zeros. And then we write times 10. And then our exponent is always the number of spaces it took us to move our decimal. And if it's a very small number we started out with, then that exponent has to be negative. If it's a very large number we started with, that exponent will always be positive. With the number 65 10 millions, we had to move our decimal six places to the right. Because the number that we began with was an extremely small number, the exponent has to be negative. In this case, negative six. With 4 billion 500 million, we had to move our decimal nine places to the left. And because that number was extremely large, we had to express our exponent as a positive exponent. Are there any other situations that you can imagine that would require extremely large measurements or very small numbers which can be expressed using scientific notation?